So then, she drove back to her place. Oh, you want some of these? Nah, I appreciate it. But, she took her panties off, threw them on the ground. I looked at them. They was white. But they had some brown spots in them. So I said, what that is? She looked at me. She said, I ain't even gonna cap. Oh, hell no. I said, uh-uh, nope. Uh-uh-uh. That's disgusting. Damn, so how'd you get back home? You had the Uber? What you mean, my boy? Oh, no. Got, Got to, to see, see it through, my boy. God yep. damn it. Uh-uh-uh. I had sex with it. Yo, <laughs> man, why we don't have no standards? Let's be real, yo. Why is it that we'll do stuff like this? I'm gonna tell you why though. I just wanted to pose the question like that while I was watching this. I was like, how am I gonna start this video off? I'm gonna ask him, like, why is it that men have such low standards? But I'm gonna tell you why I believe we have such low standards, okay? It's in our DNA. Not to have low standards, but to procreate, okay? Uh, when it comes to the, the you know, the interaction that we have with the ladies and stuff like that or how we move sexually okay we, we more move off of instinct and this is because naturally we are seed planters right so a man is likely to feel desire even when he's in a re committed relationship um and he may feel desire for multiple women in a day if he's single or, or in a committed relationship okay because when a man is attracted to certain body parts or certain things when he's attracted the natural response for him is to procreate. So if a man is out and he sees a woman with a nice shape or something that he likes, okay? Nat his natural response is to kind of think about that tooted up. I know it's crazy, I know, but he's not thinking about getting to know her. He may want to get to know her, but at that moment that he see that nice round whatever that he likes, okay? The moment, that the first thing his instincts think is tooting it up. Okay, I'm just gonna be real, okay? Now, if he has character, and discipline, if he's single and he has discipline, he won't just go pursue her and just try to get that. He, he want to know that she, you know, what type of person she is first before he does that. He don't know how who, who she may be. Now, if he's in a relationship and he has character, uh, he should, uh, he shouldn't pursue that. He doesn't pursue that because he has a relationship. He's, he's loyal. Now, the problem comes into play when men can't fight their instincts. They're, and this is why I'm going to call it savage. And I'm doing it to offend you. OK, so it is very savage because you're listening to your animal instincts. But I I'm using that word because I know that you'll find a problem with it. But I'm thinking maybe that'll prompt you to change. OK, so we're more savage. OK, now. It's healthy for us to be turned on. Now, when we see someone we're attracted to, that's healthy because that's in our DNA. OK, so some of the things that leads to sex or the main reasons for it, we're going to say, number one is procreation. Next is attraction, because typically you're not gonna sleep with somebody that you're not attracted to, okay? So for men, it's attraction, and of course that equals procreation. So now, a man's attracted. If you're attracted or, or horny, okay? This doesn't mean act on it, okay? Regardless, it means that you should still have discipline. And that's the part I think that we're misunderstanding, okay? So I'm gonna say this, men have lower standards than women. And the reason why is because of that fact, that that instinctual feeling that we get. Now, if a woman does get that instinctual feeling, I'm going to say that she's sick. Mentally, she's sick. She's thinking about sex due to attraction on the mo in the moment. Say she's in a relationship and she sees a person that 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 she thinks is attractive, and she's thinking, "Oh, I'd like to sleep with him." This is not typical of a healthy woman. Okay. A healthy woman wants to be secure in a relationship with one man because she doesn't want her children coming through multiple partners. OK, now, many of you women may say, well, nah, I'm in a relationship and I get turned on by other dudes all the time. I'm telling you, you're sick. I'm telling you the porn industry and all that stuff has made us sick. OK, what I'm telling you is naturally you wouldn't want that because that would lead to you having multiple baby fathers. You're sleeping with multiple women, multiple men. So naturally, the woman is more she's more monogamous. She wants to be with one person because that's how she proves that. Her children are his, gets his provisions, gets his protection. And this is how she's secure because she, now she knows her children are with the same man. And you can ask any woman, do you want all your children to be with the same man or spread out? A healthy woman will say, I want all my children with one man. That probably means sleeping with one man because back in the day, there was no, no, no condoms. So it is what it is if you're doing it, right? Now for a man, 
he is unhealthy when he gonna sleep with her regardless. Because for a man, if she's displaying character that she's loose, you don't know if those children are yours. And this is typically why back in the day they preferred virgins because you don't have to question if, if the baby's yours if you, if you supposedly took her virginity, right? But if you did not do that, then it could have been the day before, it could have been whenever. You don't know if you're the most recent person or you don't know, you don't know the time frame in which she, she last did it. So that's still, even if she's with you since the day you met her, you still don't know, know for sure. And back then there wasn't any birth control. So it's mother's, mother's babies, father's maybe, right? This is why I encourage women to get, get, the, um, get the DNA test, uh, the paternity test, and present that to your man as a gift or to the father as a gift so he knows it's his, um, especially if you're considering that it's his. You know, get, give it to him as a gift, okay? Um, that way he doesn't have to question it. Maybe he doesn't want to hurt your feelings, but I can tell you now he wants to know. It's just something that we do. We want to really, really, truly know. So do it as a gift to him. You, you, and that way he doesn't have to hurt your feelings by asking you and whatnot. But men want to know their babies are theirs, right? But anyway, <clears throat> men, know, you, you know that if, you, if you're doing that act with no condom like back in the day, potentially you're going to get her pregnant. So why would you do that knowing you're going to have to protect her? You're going to have to provide for her. And she's showing you that she doesn't have the character to be able to really produce, okay? If she can't come and help you you know, tend to your gardens and the things that you're going to be taking care of. Cause back, th back then you were a hunter and they were, it's, it's, it's less uh, men than women. So in order for uh, all the women to have a man, they, they did practice polygamy. And uh, now not all cultures, but let's be real. Indigenous cultures practice polygamy, but not by choosing to practice polygamy. That's what we called it. When we observe how they, how they dated, how they got around, how they moved, we call it polygamy. Okay. So polygamy wasn't something that was taught to us to, to, to live out. That's how naturally we were. Okay. Cause if a man was really good and he was really, if he was a good man, meaning, meaning he was a good hunter, he could provide, he had a lot of resources. You, he would be encouraged to have more wives. You understand? Because this means that more women get to have a safe place. Okay. They get to have a family. They get to bear children too through him. And she wanted that because she wanted the best possible male for her children. She didn't want to bear children to a person who wasn't doing anything in life. He wasn't productive. He had nothing going for him because that's who you're going to have your children by. So understand this. A, a woman that's healthy, she wouldn't sleep with a man if he's if he's dumb. Like, cause if you're not smart, okay, this indicates that you're not going to have very smart children. And it also indicates you're going to make a lot of mistakes in life. And who wants to be with that, right? Um, if you don't have the provision, she probably wouldn't because you can't protect her. You don't have a safe place for her, right? And so these are things that mean something to her. So if you take a woman on a date, her standards are going to be higher than men because number one, she's not going to lower her standards because she's just horny where men will. Okay. Number two, she's going to be checking off red flags. If she say make a left right here and he make a right right there. Believe me, she's going to sit real calm, but she's screaming on the inside. This man don't know his left from his right. Now she might think he's attractive, but she's logging that. She may not know why she's logging that. She may say I'm too picky, but no, she's logging that because she should. Okay. If he don't know his left from his right and he grown, okay, she probably wondering, she probably saying that's why he couldn't get his, he couldn't find his way over here. Okay, that's probably why he could not find his way over here. And I had to keep walking outside so he could see me, but he never showed up talking about I'm driving down the road, but he was going the wrong way because he don't know his left from his right. Okay, and she's probably thinking if I do make it home, I ain't never mess with this dude again because he probably ain't going to have much direction for life if he don't know his left from his right. Like, let's be real. So she's logging all of these things, right? Is he showing off with money? Does he actually have it? This kind of seems unfair to men, but we get why she does this. Natural, natural instinct is to kind of look for resources and things like that. Things that would show um, that you could have a healthy child. So she's looking for signs of, of health. So she wants to be attracted to you. She wants to think that you are, you are healthy. Uh, I said before, hair, skin, and nails. You know, your body type, your, your aesthetics, okay? Um... Uh, your diet, all that stuff is going to be important because the healthier you are, the more women like you. Ask, ask the jocks in high school, okay? But now, women's standards are higher. Again, men's standards are lower, again, because we're moved by that, that, um, that instinct. So check this out. Me and my brother was talking the other, the other day, and he disagreed, but I'm going to do this video anyway because I strongly feel the way I feel about this, okay? I told him, I said, Men have lower standards than women. He disagreed. I said, well, I'm going to tell you why I say this. Men will lower their standards just because they're horny. Okay? It's not his type, but he's horny, so he'll go do that. Okay? And it's crazy. But women don't typically do that. They don't typically 
uh, allow their urges to let them sleep with somebody who they don't like. He ain't got nothing going for him. He's not attractive. Uh, she's probably not going to have much use for him. You understand? But men will do that. A woman who ain't got nothing going for her. She's, she's uh, not in the shape that he likes. She doesn't look like he wants her to look at all. He'll still do that if he's horny. Like, let's be real. Okay? A woman who gets, who, who has multiple partners at the same time, right? A train. She, she is the, she loses, right? Because men do that. Like a woman who is no, is, who's not attractive, who has nothing going for her. She'll have four of the most attractive guys on the ball team do that to her, right? They'll do that, right? But a guy who has nothing going for him, okay? He's at the bottom of the social scale in school, a scale in school, just like her, okay? Do you think that the, the three, four, four tightest, uh, baddest cheerleaders gonna sleep with him at the same time? Heck no, right? So a woman who has no value at all, she's not pretty to the guy that she's sleeping to, the guys that she's sleeping with, she doesn't have uh, anything going for her. Men will still sleep with her like top class type men, okay? Because just because they're horny and she's easy. You understand? Now, on the flip side, you ain't going to find a lot of dime piece women like top notch women who will just sleep with losers for men. He's got to have something going for him. And this is due to the nature of women and due to the nature of men. Now, what I'm the thing, the challenge for today is this. Can we rise above our nature? Can we stop be, being savages? OK, just because we say, OK, I'm going to go over there. Let's just say she lures you there because you saw her body and it was beautiful. You get there. She doesn't have the body type that you thought because she just had some stuff, you know, tying it up and it made it look like it. And you're still going to do it because you're there. That's crazy. Right. OK, you get her completely nude and she doesn't smell good and you still do it. That's crazy. You understand? You get there and you find a ripped open condom under her nightstand and you're going to still do it. That's crazy. That's telling you like somebody ain't, it ain't been long since somebody been there. You understand? Like she's in a real bad neighborhood and you hear gunshots on your way in. You still go. <laughs> Men don't be having no standards, yo. We'll put ourselves in harm's way just because we're horny. You understand? And the crazy part is what you're needing is to experience that, that release, right? And so your hand will do that for you, but you will still lower your value and put yourself in, in with, a, with a woman you don't even know because it's, it's, it's late at the club and it's only a few of them left and you don't like none of them, but you're going to leave with it anyway. Like you, we'll walk past all the warning signs that we're being set up. You're probably going to get robbed and we'll be right up in there anyway because we don't think when we're horny. You understand? And so this is what I'm saying. Master your emotions, men. We should learn to master our emotions and have higher standards. This is why we get in bad relationships with women who are pretty okay this is why we're sleeping with women who are unattractive to us have nothing going for them as far as character and then we have babies with them and we don't know them okay we don't know them and then this means we don't know their character and how they're going to treat us once they have the child and now that they're using us manipulating us with the child now we're upset because we had a baby with this person and we didn't know how she was going to be because we slept with her not knowing how she was going to be and you never truly know how, how no one's going to be but you need to be vetting to look for signs, look, those red flags, family. You understand? So men need to have higher standards. And I like that video because he kind of portrayed that really well that you got to see it through. That's, that's typically how men talk. You know, you got to see it through. Like, no, you don't. Men can say no too. You can have standards too. If you're not attracted to her, your body fl fluids and function shouldn't even be up going. That's weird. You see what I'm saying? Like you're not even attracted to her. Like she's ugly to you. Not that she's ugly, but you don't find her attractive, so she's ugly to you. Now, everybody might not find her ugly, but beauty's in the eye of the behave, beholder, and so is ugly. And you asleep with somebody that you definitely don't find attractive because you horny. Like, women don't do that. Like, typically, I don't know women that do that. I know a lot of men who do that. Like, typically, that's what men do. A lot of men don't have the same standards. You, you see what I'm saying? They might have standards for who they're going to date and take out in public, but who they, who they sleep with is a totally different thing. But sleeping with is what gets you the babies. That's what gets you the diseases. That's what gets you kind of like tied up with these crazy people when you don't know the character that they have they be trying to film you you don't know about it trying to pop holes in your condom you don't know about it like and you just out here moving fast but if you really was to think with tact just because you horny don't mean you got to go home with somebody a lot of times us men that's the biggest problem i wanted to, this video kind of jokey but i'm dead serious man we need to have higher standards okay like a lot of us lose our lives because we with somebody who was cheating on their dude because they they mad or they just a cheater and then he done walked in and ended everybody in the room because you didn't know she was in a relationship or you did and did it anyway 
Like you know this woman's married and you're gonna put yourself at risk by dealing with her, be bragging about it. Yes, yeah, she was with her dude and she was still looking at me. She still gave me the number and you're gonna call her? You're a new kind of stupid. You're a new kind of stupid. She already has a dude. She'll cheat on him right when she with him. She gave you the number right when she was with him. Like, yo, like, that's crazy because you're going to be sleeping with this girl or trying to mix up with this girl and you know the potential is him finding out and you never know what people are going to do when they mad. Like, there's so many single women out here. Why would you do that? Like, we should have switches where we'd be like, nah, I ain't messing with no other man, woman. Like, you are in a relationship. I'm good on that. I'm not, I don't want the danger that comes with it. I don't want the problems that comes along with it. But that's a lot of things that dudes will brag about. Like, we'll brag about stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? So let's be real. Let's be real, kings. Like, let's, let's claim our crowns and start moving with more dignity. And I promise you, if we do that, as leaders, women will raise their value. You understand? Because women don't typically uh, move like that unless men are. You understand? If we, if we hold character of high value, they won't toot their ass out no more <laughs> in order to get your attention. They'll, they'll, have high they'll have character. They'll be kind. If you say, I, want you, I don't care how big your booty is, um, how slim your waist is, if you're not kind to me, if you're not nice to me, I ain't trying to rap with you. I guarantee you she'll start being real kind. They'll start competing to see, be, see who can be the most kind, the most friendly, the most kind, the most friendly. Because it's, it's about a competition. And if, if high class men started doing that, you could change that. And if women would say, I'm not going to just give myself up to somebody just because I met him or because he got money or want me to. I'm going to carry myself with class. High class men would step up or the men would step up. Trust me. Because if they didn't, they're choosing to sleep with somebody who's loose and who's not willing to value themselves until they're in a serious relationship. This would mean that they're most likely going to get a woman who's not going to be productive in a relationship and not likely to hold up exclusivity in a relationship. But you, on the other hand, you have requirements. So you're worth, you're worth working for for a man who really wants a future with you. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of times, if we, if me, if we as men are thinking, thinking with our loins, just let me smash. I want to go ahead and, and, have, and have sex with you. Like, come on, man, let's be real. What does that tell you about her, except for how it feels? Let's be real. So if you're truly looking to, to be with her, you know, you should, you should, um, you should be willing to, to wait. And you should be wanting to wait for yourself to vet her before she has you. We don't, need, we don't need to be loose. Like we, Our stuff is of value too. Your genes are of value too. And you about to just sit here and just give your birthright to somebody because you feel like you ain't got no value in, in your stock. But you do. You got value in you. And your, your DNA is linked to that. So yeah. But this is why typically if you sleep with a woman and, you, and, you don't, and it, she doesn't get something out of it, she'll feel used. See, a man, what he wants out of it is the good feeling. He wants to be able to touch her, experience her. That's kind of what it's like. And that is kind of like Seeing, seeing women like a piece of meat or a delicacy, something to consume, not somebody to actually have a relationship with. So you are lowering the value of her mind and her contribution to a man's life if, in a healthy relationship. The children she can give you, the, the motherhood that she can give them, the wife, uh, the, the attributes she can provide you and the, you know, the um, support she can provide you. You're looking over all of that and just thinking about the, the, uh, the feeling of sex. You feel me? And that's very savage. You understand? So let's be better, man. Let's see her as, as, as somebody different than that and be willing to work to get to know the rest of her before we explore her or her body. And I'm not pandering the women. I know you guys want to say that, but I'm trying to protect you. If you out here loose, and I'm telling you, it's you who lose too. So you can't just be saying single mothers are a problem, but the men who have children already, then that's less money they have too, right? Because they have so many children out here. They have more, more children than than with their family. So now that's, that is cutting in on their, on their lineage and their, and, their, and their money, their ability to save money. A lot of them have child support out the wazoo because of somebody they slept with irresponsibly. So it lowers their value the same way. We got to see that the same way, family. You know what I mean? All right, so <clears throat> to finish this video off, men, if, if you're attracted to her and she gives you those red flags, don't pursue, okay? Have standards. If she doesn't look like you want her to look, don't go doing that. She doesn't look healthy. She doesn't have the things. That, if she doesn't fall in your standards, don't lower your standards because you're horny. Stop doing that, okay? And set up your standards if you don't already have them. Try and decide what type of women you're going to allow around you because this is going to ultimately shape out who you have around you, the type of company you keep. This is very important. You understand? And when if you do that, stick to it. Don't say, yo, she's super bad and she... She's super bad, though. I know she's going to have me in the worst neighborhood getting shot at, but 
She's super bad though. So hey, I had to do it. Had to do it. No, you don't have to do it. You can say no, man. I don't care. <laughs> Now, this is funny because we even got to have this conversation. But many of you men, y'all y'all on here. And I know a lot of y'all going to be like, this man is on here tripping, giving up the game. But it's just the facts. You understand? That's why I value. That's why it's so low. So, But in a relationship where a man is cheating, it's, it's just as bad because they're both being unloyal. They're both lying. But to a man, you can understand his instinct to cheat. And he has not cheat, but his instinct to to plant the seed. And he has to be disciplined to not cheat. But if a woman is in a relationship and she's just running out the relationship cheating, this means she's sick in the mind. You, you understand? And he's sick in the mind if he's willing to sleep with anybody and everybody. Because if you go back, we weren't willing to do that. We weren't willing to do that. OK, so if 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 he's not showing you the right mindset, uh, you can't he's not showing you the right uh, that he has the right things around him uh, with him. Then a woman will typically say, "Nah, I'm good on that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you hear them say he was cute till he opened his mouth or something like that. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, let me know who you guys agree with, man. I told my brother, I was like, you know, men have lower standards and here's why. He was like, I kind of disagree because I know women with lower standards. I'm like, you're using the the rare. Yes, there are some women that's like that, but that's sick in the mind. They do exist. So I'm not going to use sick in the mind to justify them their existence, but they do exist. But I think more men, it's more so men, okay, that, 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 that be like that. So... Anyway, family, uh, all of y'all raise your standards, okay? <laughs> so you can't say I'm being biased. All right, family, be evolution. Be the change that you want to see. No candle loses its flame from lighting another. And if you were to ever find yourself in the middle of chaos, it is in that chaos that you have found yourself. And oh, yeah, <laughs> you can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to leave the shore. Did you know that? So have the courage to leave the shore. Peace.